Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's understand a relation in cryoparametry. So let's get started. So here I will use if and else statement as a relation to drive the design intent. But first let's understand relation. So relations are user defined equations written between dimensions and parameter. That means you can relate multiple dimensions to form a relation. And the same thing I have done here, I have related this dimension with this dimension to form this relation. So I have taken relation as the length is equal to diameter into 2. So this is the simplest form of relation. Now these relations can be created within the sketch or feature or part or assembly component. Relation can be a simple equations or it can be a complex equations or it can be a conditional statement. So here I am going to use a conditional statement in the form of if and else statement. So if you see this relation, this is unidirectional relation. So whenever you change this dimension, this dimension will get just double of that. But my requirement is different. My requirement is something like this. So here if this dimension is up to 10, this dimension will get doubled. If this dimension is greater than 10 and up to 20, this dimension will get tripled. If this dimension is greater than 20 and up to 30, this dimension will get 4 times. If this dimension is greater than 30, then this dimension will become 5 times of this. So this is my requirement actually and this can be easily achieved by if and else statement as a relation. Now let's say this value is 5. Then as per our condition the length should be 10. Let's see. We are getting 10. So up to 10 the length will be doubled. If it becomes 11 the length will be triple. You see. So up to 20 the length will be triple. And if it is 21, 4 times. So up to 30 it will be 4 times. Now if you increase this value more than 30, let's make it 31, then this will become 5 times. So it doesn't matter how big it is. Now let's say I am taking 50. And again it will be 5 times, 250. If it is 10, then just double. Now the same result can also be achieved by using datum graph. So both the technique I will show in this video. So stay tuned. Now to use if and else statement, I will create a new file and say ok. Now here I will create the same shaft once again on the top datum plane. So I will draw a circle which is dia 10. I will say ok. ok. Now here to add a relation the best practice is just rename your dimension which is coming into the relation. So I will select this dimension and I will rename it as length, click outside and this dimension got renamed. Same way you select this dimension and rename as diameter. So once you rename the dimension, it makes your work easier. So you can easily identify your dimensions inside the relation. So now I am inside the relation and now I am telling that this length must be equal to diameter into 2. Verify it, say ok and ok. Regenerate it. You see, now this dimension is double of this. So if you make 5, this will become 10. If you make 20, this will become 40. So this is a unidirectional relation. 
Now I'll just remove this relation and add the if and else statement to get my desired result. So here I will simply write that if 